One of the great things about working at Wayfair is that every day is different. So some days you might be doing code reviews, some day you might be just programming all day long, you might be talking to third party vendors, meeting with business people. It's really different all the time, which keeps it exciting. <laughs> During the day I get a lot of questions from new engineers or even engineers that have been around for a long time but are working on new technologies. They might come to me and ask me questions about how to tackle a certain problem or about specific way for conventions. So I spend a lot of time working with other engineers. One thing I can think of is somehow maybe if I declare global misfunction. So I think that's I've seen this before. Basically. Jason came over to my desk. He's actually working on a project to overhaul how we load constants onto our website. So values that don't change and are persisted throughout the state of the application. And he was wondering about architecture and sort of wanted to get some tips on how to set it up. So he came over to my desk and I was able to just slide my chair over and help him tackle that problem. The great thing about our continuous deployment model is that we can, I can go over to an engineer's desk, uh, spend 10 minutes talking about a solution, spend five minutes coding it up, I can review it right there at his desk and we can get into production five minutes later. So the whole process from concept to in front of millions of people can take anywhere from 10 minutes to half an hour and be done. If we're talking about customers, this is for admins only. Okay. As a senior engineer, I spend a lot of time code reviewing. So it's, it's, it's both for conventions at Wayfair and also for doing things the most efficient way possible in PHP or ASP or SQL or whatever language we're talking about at the time. And as you saw with Tim, he was just working on a feature for the frequently asked questions feature on our site. GPG, query cache, SQL, it's 6, 400, and third memory just passed as is in. He was wondering about the best way to structure the code and sort of how to organize it and how to separate presentation and logic, so I was helping him out with that. Sometimes reviews are just one-on-one, -on -one, like with Tim, it's and sometimes it's group, a group of people. Yeah. And if they all have small changes, we don't want to do one-off code reviews that are five or ten minutes a piece, so we lump together three or four people and then get them in a room, and then we go through one by one each person's code. Really? At Wafer, it's really a cross-functional group. So you have some people who are really strong on the database side, some people who are really strong on the front-end side, and you get to work with all of them throughout your project. So you might have three or four people that you're getting help from or interacting with to get your project done. I'm just gonna like, these are this is a pretty idyllic case. Yeah. Our product, product catalog. For a project I'm working on now, which is to overhaul our product details page, so the layout of the page when you're viewing a specific product, I had to meet with Mike, who's our VP of Engineering, as well as one of our senior designers and to try to hash out a problem we were having with implementation of that, of that uh, project. It was about 11.30 and Jason and I had recently pushed a change and all of a sudden all of our sites went down. All of our web servers failed to health check. So we immediately were worried that it might have been the change that Jason had just released. But as we got closer to the issue and as we went downstairs and started talking to systems, we found out it was completely unrelated to, to his change. And so we were sort of all panicking for a moment there trying to figure out what the problem was, but we got it solved pretty quickly. It ended up being a problem with Joss and Main, which is our private sales site. It basically had a big traffic spike, and the MySQL database that it hits got overloaded and slowed down, which hung all of our PHP processes and uh, ended up failing the health check on all the web servers. <laughs> we work pretty hard at Wayfair, but we also know how to kick back and have a little fun. So it really is up to you what you want to do here. There's a bridge club, there's a Dominion tournament going on right now. We also have things like uh, monthly cakes for birthdays and parties that we're going to bring chips and dip and beer and just kind of hang out on, on our engineering floor after work, usually around once a month. So there's a lot going on outside of work as well. I think the biggest things for me at Wayfair are the technologies that we work on and the people that you work with. So you're working on really exciting new technologies and really high impact projects, but you also work with a really fun group of people and a really smart group of engineers. So it's, it's kind of a combination of the both where you have a great work environment and you're also working on really cool stuff.